this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Let's get to the bottom of Stone Tower Temple. Or, well, the top of this... Whatever! Last time, we already cleared out this room, so let's just go through to the next one now. In order to do that, we need to fly all the way to the top with the west updraft there. These updrafts take you only to different heights. Hopefully this does not screw up my camera angle too much. Okay, we're good, we're good. I suppose I could have played it a little more conservatively there by taking out the mines first, but no, nope, no, nope, we're good. Okay, so let's see, in this room, let's see, the ceiling is lava! How does it even work? In any case, just to get around here, just flip it over, and I suppose you don't have to use the Guan Mask, but I'd rather not take damage. And then we can uh, flip it over again to keep going. I like how they do that with the red gem in the dungeon. It's not just something you see outside, but they put it in certain rooms, too, for puzzles and like stuff like that. So I like that. See, over there, there's a square hole in the ground, if you can call a square hole, a hole. I don't know what else you would call it. Did I take damage there? I would think I was supposed to take damage. I thought the guy hit me, but uh, never mind then. But as you can see here, what we need to do is get the block into the hole, but we've got all these raised ledges that get in our way from pushing the block around. So what you need to do is, again, use the red gems there so that you can move the block on the ceiling and keep on going there just keep uh what i like to do is i like to push the block around instead of pulling it because some of these raised ledges will get in your way and the game will treat that like a wall and won't let you push it as much as you would otherwise like to now you notice we got a couple choo-choos in the room one of them drops arrows the other one drops magic so you're not totally hosed in the room if you didn't use the Chateau Romani. You want to watch out, though, because while you're in the middle of pushing a block, you can't move out of the way if these guys decide to attack you or if you aggro them or whatever. So let's just uh, get this as far over here as we can, and then we'll... Okay, there it is. I was like, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go to the left or the right there. This... All this flipping around is kind of disorienting, but I like it. It's a pretty creative mechanic for a dungeon. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Zelda Oracle games where they had the, the mermaid dungeon that you go back and forth in time with. That's a nice idea, too. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, one more time, and we should be good. I suppose you could use the ice arrows against these guys. But I'd rather just take them out whenever they get a little too close. So that way I can, like, stock up on arrows, at least. I suppose you could use them as, like, a block to get up here, too. But you still gotta get the block into the hole anyway, so we can have more mini-boss time! Another Riz robe. Nothing too extraordinary. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got lava falling from the ceiling. So I'm just going to use my arrows, at least to start. And then if the whiz robe ends up teleporting close to me, so much the better. Now, I want to stay in this position, so that way I can see most of the teleporters. And that way, I can tell where the real one is relatively quickly. Oh, I should have equipped my uh, bunny hood here, but whatever works, we got him. Hooray! And, all right, yeah, let's get our hookshot back in action. Yeah, you want to be careful going on the left side of the room there, because there's chunks of lava that'll keep falling on you and interrupt what you're doing instead of getting another straight fairy. Hooray! Okay, let's see. Over here, yeah, we've got Pose. And try not to aggro them, but I didn't do a very good job there, apparently. And let's get over here. But instead of going over to the door there, 
Let's go up to that little hallway at the top there that might look like something you're not supposed to go to. Okay, let's see. Over here. Let's get our stone mask going. So that way I can blend in with these guys. Death armors. If you don't have a stone mask equipped there, then they will wake up without you even needing to touch them. And they'll try to... They'll hover in the air and try to stomp on you. So don't do that. I think you can like flip them over with the light arrows and then when they try to stomp into the floor they just destroy themselves in the process or something like that. But why bother doing that when you've got the stone mask so you don't have to worry about these guys getting in your way. Although I think there's a Poe following me around still. Reminds me of Link's Awakening. But all right, we're done with our business there. Just wanted to get the key. Yeah, these guys kind of get in your way if you don't actually get them moving. Okay, so let's get over here. Now let's go into the door here. Okay, so to the left there, I want to get into that little alcove there. There we go. So yeah, just uh, blow up a bunch of those guys and then we should be good. So I want to get over here, take a little breather, and then get to the far platform there. And let's see what... Whoa! <laughs> that that would have been bad. Holy cow. Okay, so we're done there. Let's see. I want to get my... Uh, what is it? Bunny hood going. I think I'm going to want it soon. Oh, no, I'm not in the... There's one more room. Whoops. Okay, let's get the stone mask then so these guys won't bother me. Just uh, roll right past them. They won't pay attention to you. Then get the bunny hood going. For more mini boss time, this one, a new guy. Gomez. Kind of a vampire, grim reaper, whatever's going on. So Gomez has all these bats surrounding him. And the problem is that they'll block any damage you try to deal. Whoop! Okay, I screwed up the first part, but that's okay. So what you need to do is use the light arrows to disperse the bats. And then, uh, what is... Oh, I'm kind of caught in the corner here. Get out! Get out of there! There we go. Okay, disperse the bats there. Uh, did I hit the guy? Yeah, there we go. Okay, disperse the bats. Jump attack. And then use your shield to block Gomez's counterattack when he started spinning that scythe. Well, I didn't do it the first time, but the rest of the time was good. So yeah, just a uh, light arrow, jump attack, block, light arrow, jump attack, block, and so on. You want to kind of stay close to Gomez, so that way, because like sometimes after you disperse the bats, well, you can get a boss key from defeating Gomez, but yeah, uh, what is it? Sometimes Gomez will just take a swipe at you, but if you're close enough to Gomez, you can just go right under it. So you don't need to worry about that. But all right, we're good to go here. Let's see, I think I'm gonna need, yeah, let's get the stone mask to get out of here. And then, yeah, don't worry about these guys. Hopefully I will not run into them on my own, even with the stone mask. And sometimes I screw up a little bit there, but. Okay, let's see. So now I need to get back, oh, to where we were there. Okay, I know I'm going to need the stone mask again, so let's see. Where are we? Yeah, I need the hook shot. Hold on. There we go. Okay, right over there. Ha-ha! I don't think you can blow up all three of them at once, unfortunately. So just take what you get. All right, barely. Uh-oh. Yeah, watch out for these guys. Mimic pots. Unexpected? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Whoa. Watch out for that one. And then... Make it... Yes. Oh, no, I didn't need to go in there, but whatever works. Okay, get the stone mask going here. And then... Yeah, we want to go through this door. Kind of a little hidden there. Whoa. I didn't think that was quite that far away. But yeah, for, uh, yeah, just step on the switch there, reveals a chest, 
And then we need to hook shot all the way up there if I can. Haha! -ha! There we go. And let's see. I'm just gonna go with light arrows here. I think that's that's all I really need. Yeah. But uh maybe having uh bunny hood might be useful for a rematch against uh what is it? Igor. So what you do is shoot Igor in the eye with light arrows that stuns him. And then another arrow. And we got him! Hooray! So that's another way you could defeat him instead of just using the bombs like we did before. Oh, hey, there's some uh, rupees floating in the air there for some reason. But uh, let's see. What do we got? Um, trying to see where that goes. Well, I can't really get over there, but whatever. We're done here. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, here's that crystal switch that I bombed a while ago to get that one stray fairy before. But, uh, yeah, we don't need to do that. So, uh, wait a minute. Can I uh, get up or anywhere? That works. I just want... Oh. Uh, nuts. Is there another one? Uh, yeah, there's another one. Okay. Wait for that to pass on by. And then get over there. Oh, um, am I? No, I'm not going the right way. Down, down. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, the boss room there, but uh, I don't want to go there yet. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get back to the start. But, yeah, you see there? Oh, um, I'm thinking if I could go back a room, but, uh, nah, whatever. I mean, we're here. Basically, just in order to get to the end, you see, uh, yeah, we got that chest right up there. So you can take that all the way straight to the end there. Now, one thing about the final battle, or what is it, the last battle we had with Igor there, you get a different item in the Nintendo 64 version of the game. So how about we check that out over there soon in the alternate universe? Okay, we're back in the Nintendo 64 version of the game, and in this version, because my aiming skills are not so good, I like to stun Igor here, and then charge in without shooting an arrow again, because if I'm too far away from Igor, I can't do the... I can't lock on target or anything, and that makes it very hard for me to actually hit the guy with the fickle analog stick. But yeah, in uh, the Nintendo 64 version of the game here, we can actually get a reward from Igor. So let's see. So yeah, you don't get this in the 3DS version of the game, or well, not from Igor anyway. The Giant Mask, one of my favorite masks in the game, at least just the concept of it. And well, you can't just use it anywhere. But uh, well, you'll see, you'll see. But let's see, uh, in this version of the game, something that uh, uh, you might notice about, uh, what is it, Igor there, is that it only activated once I started moving around here. But in the Nintendo 64 version of the game, you can get Igor to move without getting up here. And something you could do is from like a platform to the side or whatever down below, you could shoot Igor from down there and kill him before you even get up here and then just like hook shot up to the chest, which is what a speed run would do. But not me. That's beyond my abilities. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't do this in the Nintendo 64 version of the game, bombing that crystal switch. So I'll be picking that up. Well, I'll just be doing that stuff off screen, of course. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business here. There is one more thing that I would like to show you guys. And that is how you flip over the dungeon in this version of the game. I suppose I could have done it in the previous episode, but I figured, well, I'm already here. We might as well, uh, do that. Because it's in a little bit of a different location, but it's essentially the same idea. So, let's get out of here then. And let's see. Okay, we need to jump on at least one of the blocks. I don't know if I can see it from here. Let's see. Nope, I gotta go back maybe another block or two. There we go. So, from here... Yeah, that's how you would 
flip the dungeon back over. And he died. Or not. But, uh, okay, so... Oh! Yeah, you see there? There's... Well, it's kind of hard to see from here. Well, uh... Yeah, actually, hold on a sec. Let me, uh... Get all these things in order here. I would need... At least... Well, yeah, let's get the bunny hood off of there, at least. And then... Okay, yeah, that ought to be good enough. So I want to move this one first. I think, if I recall correctly, the order is a little different than in the 3DS version of the game, as far as, like, getting these blocks to go around where they are, because they totally rearranged the blocks at the very top here. The other ones, I think, are identical, like, on the way up here, but I guess they wanted to make it a little more obvious where that red gem is, because it's just kind of hiding there. But uh, I do need to... Uh, get the blocks at least out of the way for the first two and yeah so that's where the red gem is they hide that one on you although i suppose when you first go into the dungeon you have to do all this so maybe they figured that you could well figure it out on your own there but uh on your way in there yeah i like to roll and jump in order to get from block to block, especially in this version of the game, without the bunny hood there. So, yeah, you just shoot. Okay. Game? Aha! There we go. Hmm, I guess the targeting is a little more fickle in this version. Like, in the 3DS version, if you hit, like, just barely off from one part to the other, you could still trigger the dungeon flipping over like that so yeah i just thought i'd show you some of the the differences there but where do we get the giant's mask in the 3ds version of the game find out next time on let's play majora's mask this is h bailey signing off have a good day <laughs>